This is only his second career start against the Padres. He worked against them as a White Sox last May and pitched well. Eric Hosmer swings at the first pitch. That's a fielder's choice ground out. Nice work by Quintana after that rough first inning his last start. San Diego Padres. There's a veteran right hander Tyson Ross 22nd start. Called strike three. And that's it for the Cubs. They go quietly in the first. Nothing nothing. And, and Andy said. Yeah, I had more than 2,000 strikeouts, to which his daughter said, can we eat? As Ross is tagged out, it is a fair ball. High drive to right, well hit, and it is gone! One to nothing! Into the wind! Tyson Ross has hit an opposite field home run, and now we know he's allowed at least one. Try to do damage again. Runner goes. Ross will throw to first. They get oh. Caratini, and now Kyle caught between second and third. So, uh, base running mistake here, and the inning is over. But All the local merchants appreciate the contributions. <laughs> Call strike three. Fastball gets him. Will certainly get Lestella in. Rizzo goes halfway. Margot makes the catch. Silver is credited with a sack fly, and it's two to nothing. In out with the fastball, the OO curveball to get ahead is a good weapon. Deep to left, and it is gone. A home run for Villanueva, the 20th for Christian. I'm sure at one point he dreamed about homering here at Wrigley Field as a Cub and instead does it as a San Diego Padre. Renfro coming in easy play and we will head to the fifth inning. It's the Cubs two, San Diego one. in the fifth the balls on the ground today from Ross pulled to right this one's going to drop and Rizzo respecting Renfro's arm will hold with a single Rizzo runs again ground ball Hosmer will throw to the plate save and no challenge. challenge available for the Padres. <laughs> oh my! Three to one. Yeah, this is a really heads up play. And then Rizzo took off for third, and, and had time been called. Li Livensbarger is saying yes. He's sending Anthony back. So Andy Green will come out. Joe Madden comes out. We might have both managers arguing different calls here on this play. Desperation throw by Hosmer, but Lestella got in. Yeah, it was a, a, a heads up play by the uh, Gold Glover. Uh, great uh, glove play to begin with. Knows he doesn't have two as he falls to his backside. He slings it home. And Where's Anthony, time called? Seeing the conversation take place at home plate. Yeah, slowly starts to sneak over to third base. He got him on. If he got his left arm, he would have been out. Again, they don't have a challenge. Well, he may have been out, but he might have brushed not, the shoulder. Yeah, boy, they will not get a review. And runners will go on three, two, spike three, painted to end the inning. Teams do not want to use a relief pitcher to. Get those outs. 3 0 bouncer to Rizzo. And Hosmer retired. 
Ground ball to Rizzo. He'll backhand. Underhand. Edwards at the bag. A drive to right. Way back. It is. Gone. A home run. Late call by C.B. Buckner at first. Just inside the pole. There it is in the basket. Number 16, and the Cubs lead 4-1. to one. I don't know if uh, CB lost sight of that ball or not, but it took him a long time to signal first fair and then home run, but all's well that ends well. The biscuit is in the basket. 2-2, two, two. ground ball back to Ciszek, and he oh. throws it into center. And the run will score. He got a little happy feet on the mound thinking two and they don't get anybody and it's four to two. No RBI it will be a fielder's choice and an error. On a bounce here comes a throw to the plate and Jankowski is out. He hesitated. Did not go right off the bat on contact. To the pen, Randy Rosario back in the big leagues. Got sent out the other day when Brandon Kinsler joined the 25 man roster. Another 3 2. He walked in. And we'll get a likely pitching change. To the pen, Brandon Kinsler actually got in a car and uh, took a ride from D.C. to Pittsburgh to join his new team the other day on his 34th birthday. These guys for a long time. And a liner to Bodie. That's good work. As good line out induced. It's Jordan Lyles as Baez cracks another one to deep right. And it's going to one hop the wall. Baez trying for three. The throw there. Save. He's always safe. We were having a conversation yesterday about the most exciting play in baseball. I'm going to go with the Javi Baez triple. You're automatically going to shut it down. High drive to center. Baez will tag. Margot makes the catch and they get that run right back. It's five to two. Ball down in the shadow left center Galvis with a sliding catch and everybody holds. That is a terrific play by Freddie Galvis. Sure was it looked like a, a little return of serve lob from Albert and he ultimately catches that ball with his bare hand. The two strike pitch from Lyles swing and a miss and that will take us to the ninth. Game to win. Pedro Strope's game to save. He's picked up five of those. Mm. So two real close ones in the sequence did not go his way. Third one and two. Here's the pitch. The drive to left. Hap can't get it. Galvis scores. It's a double. It's a two run game and still nobody out. Will score and Jankowski with a two for one. The tying run now at third with one out. And hang on here in the night. Throw goes to the plate. Out at the plate. And the Padres, I'm sure, will just ask for a review. Andy Green already saying, please look at it. And David Bode continues to impress uh, both in the batter's box and in the field. Swing and a miss. Cubs win. As Jack would have said, "Woo boy!" <laughs> Five for the final. Boy, it was a grind at the end. Four pitchers used in the eighth, but Strope able to finish it off.